Okay, thanks for everybody. My name is Dominic C from uh, Automated System. I'm the vice president uh, from Automated System. Uh, today, uh, my presentation topic is the journey to automated cow. Okay, the main objective is to share how a local IT service provider to make use of OpenStack to pro value add to our IT services. Okay, so uh, before my presentation on the uh, automated cow, I'd like to share with our company journey. <laughs> okay, because in this year, 2013, our company, ASL, is 40th anniversary uh, in Hong Kong. We are, fund we are foundation uh, in 1973, and uh, we are listed on Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 1997. Okay, we experience in digital west to some microsystem x86 virtualization until today cloud computing. We provide the one-stop IT service in local Hong Kong market. Okay, so uh, we also have the Asia region coverage from Ming China, Macau, Taiwan, Singapore and Thailand, okay. So, uh, we also equip with uh, well-equipped facilities include capacity center, core management center, security operation center, and offshore development center, okay. So, we, what our one-stop IT service provide? We provide a system integration, managed service, managed security service, multi-vendor support, application development. So I, today, I'd like to share how a local IT service provider can make use of the OpenStack to value add some uh, managed service to our customers in Hong Kong or in Asia Pacific region, okay? Actually, uh, in Hong Kong, ASL doing a lot of the private cow project on premises or off premises, okay? So today, we like to combine our ma managed service with the unified cloud management platform to provide to our customer. How can we offer this kind of the unified management platform to our customers? We build up a uh, unified cloud management framework by using OpenStack. Okay. Firstly, we are mainly for cloud orchestration and data center automation. We invest uh, the resources on server storage and network. Okay. The next step, we also have the central monitoring and authentication and security management API layer to combine it as a unified cloud management framework. Okay. So the firstly, we can uh, build up a development UAT or testing uh, site for our customer to put on their application development in those past platform. Secondly, we also work with some uh, dedicated VIP customer to provide the private cloud. Okay. In the future, because ASL is one of the largest system integrator in Hong Kong, we will work with some application vendor to provide a cloud ecosystem to integrate the application on this ecosystem to provide the SaaS platform, okay? So we, at this moment, during the development UAT platform, we are using the OpenStack, some open source Linux, and Python, uh, uh, Python uh, programming language uh, in our unified uh, platform. With this unified platform, we like to build and design a private or private cloud on on premises or off premises to our VIP customer. We also target to work with some IT IDC or some local carriers to provide a multi-talent multi data center environment 
to manage the application layer to the infrastructure layer. So the customer, they will only focus on their core business. All those IAS, PAS, or SAS, they can leverage uh, some local service provider to provide that kind of the resources to them. Today, we also provide a real-time uh, demonstration by our consultant, Penny. So uh, just for the uh, uh, presentation slide, I think uh, 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 you, you, you do not know how we go uh, into the open stack. So uh, for the following uh, uh, session, uh, Penny will show the, uh, our open stack platform, uh, how it works on the provisioning, uh, on the metering, and uh, the user level. So, uh, thanks. Okay. Okay. Um, before we go on the demonstration, I want to talk two more slides about the architectures. Because we think about the architecture in the original OpenStack is not well supporting the Microsoft stuff. Although it support, but however, we want to make it better. Something about automated care. So this is the original um, original OpenStack architectures. So um, we do it another way. Um, we make one more low file compute under Hyper-V service. This part is uh, another plugin like a module and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, controller can basically control both in Hyper-V and Linux. They can run parallelly. And also, we have removed the, the horizon to become uh, another using another language to manage the resources better. Yeah. So um, I think we go for the demo. Uh, this is the typical login. Let me log in first. Actually, for this version, we still based on the horizon, but we want to make the user interface more user friendly because sometimes the experience is much important too. Uh, this is the normal open stack. Uh, overview. So maybe I just focus two module we have built up on the open stack. The first one is a scheduler. When you have uh, several instance, once you want to take a snapshot uh, on our current on the default open stack, you have to kick one by one, and you have to uh, take the snapshot. For example, at this afternoon, you have to, at that time, you kick the button and then make the snapshot. So we want to make it more friendly, user friendly. So we make a scheduler for this. For example, the web server right now is, uh, is shut down. So maybe we, we can schedule it to open up. Also, you can set it weekly. For example, you want to uh, you want to make the snapshot at every night on Monday, so you can make your schedule in on weekly. I set the time like uh, 9.20, so just one minute later. So I talk about the billing first. 
on the building module, I think nowadays most of the companies that using uh, come by each VM. For example, I need a VM like like uh, uh, two CPU, two gigabyte RAM. So we just come by the config to charge the client. So for our building management, it's a bit different. We try to make it come by the usage. For example, if the user always use the CPU in 100%, it will be make the whole whole cow cow platform will be very uh, heavy loaded. So for this point, we want to char charge it by metering. So for example, in here, we, we can charge the user by the memory, CPU, uh, hard disk, and then also charge the volume and the IP. This is the building page for uh, for the user to for the user to uh, pay the bill. So if the user haven't paid the bill, the the VM will also automate it to turn to shut it off, suspend. So lastly, let's check the. Web server is stuck. Oh, oh. Sorry, I mix I mix this up. It should be resumed, not not stuck because it's uh right now it's suspended. Okay, maybe we wait for a while for the setting. Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, while the meanwhile is is yeah waiting for the scheduling, so uh, we go back to the slide. For interesting parties, you can access. Uh, this website, event.cowcap.com, you can um, get a free trial right now uh, for 30 days to 60 days. Um, and also, we would like to um, give us the feedback for all the things we can try out, uh, we can improve more in the futures because um, still in a beta version, but um, in the futures, we will have a, uh, in 2014, we will have a more complete one. Uh, we are launched to everyone. Yeah, thank you. Okay, th thanks for the uh, coming. Uh, today, I just like to share uh, because we are the local service provider, we are not the vendor. So, we are not make use of uh, OpenStack to sell to our customer to as a product. So, uh, as a uh, service provider, we uh, make it as a service uh, to our customer. They even uh, 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 don't, 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 don't know back end the support is from what kind of the vendor. So uh, nowadays, we offer the 30 days trial to our customer to test the platform. So uh, welcome to, uh, uh, to join uh, to registration, and then we can have the uh, 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 GA version in the next year. Okay. Thank you.